But my favorite example of infinity is Zeno's paradox, where you want to exit the door, you got to go halfway. Then you got to go another halfway. And then another halfway. You just keep doing that. Well, wait, when I walk through the door, I walk through the door. No, you're going halfway first. And then you're going halfway again. Here's the door, here's me. How am I going halfway? I walk through the door and I don't stop. Okay, you're being too rational here. You got to stay with the math, okay? <laughs> You want to exit the front door. Before you get to the door, you have to cross the halfway point, don't you? Halfway point of what? Between where you happen to be standing and where the door is. Yes. You, we agree. Okay. Okay. Now, you got to cross the halfway point between there Third and the and door. Half. Okay, I got you. And then the half and the half and but the half. But it's so random the... to pick half. You could say I got to pass the third the point at the one third. I, point I, one third, one th I could have. That's correct. Okay. All right. But, so there's an infinite number of halfway points. Yes, I get it. And Zeno saw this and said, by that reasoning, you'll never get to the door. Because it's an infinite, but of course you do get to the door. So what's going on? And what he didn't realize is that you are covering more and more halfway points in less and less time. And the infinity actually converges to a finite amount of time. Right. 